twist it and go You know you twist so much Come on and twist it little Oh yeah, that's the menu from the uh, the weed bar in Colorado, dude. <laughs> I found it in my backpack. In this yeah, backpack? dude. Yeah, yeah, because oh, I, the so last time I used it was when I went to Colorado. So th that's probably not the smartest thing to carry around in your luggage when you're traveling, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Provides euphoria, <This> <laughs> happiness, and pure relaxation. Yeah, I got the kosher kush. It's 20% THC. How was that? First ever strain to be blessed by a rabbi. What? Oh, it was the shit. It was the shit, dude. So it's been really beautiful to see uh, Matthias and Peter become good friends. I mean, they're they're kind of like the boys of the house. They're kind of like the brothers. They're these two European, I think their countries are even next to each other, you know. Uh, Matthias, I think, is from Bavaria, and Peter is from uh, Czech Republic. Every night, they kind of, like, sit at the table downstairs together and just talk like brothers you know they live on the same floor they have the second floor their rooms are next to each other Oh god. Some guy was eaten by a tiger. Oh my by god. A, by a tiger. <laughs> what? In his apartment? No, I think so. Jeff <laughs> Beer. <laughs> Too much. No, I think somewhere on the street. Just <laughs> watching the TV. It's like, oh, it's so boring. It's really nothing on. <laughs> Honey, we have a tiger in the basement again. Can you get the vacuum? Get the broom. Chase him out of here. There's crazy pictures of like a, like a hippo in the street, like swimming in the flood. Oh, and, and, a, and a single penguin made it to the border to the next country. <laughs> and they tried to get it back, but they're not allowed to enter the other country. So now they lost the penguin. How's the rug doing out here? We should vacuum it or sweep it or something. Look at all the guitar picks. Pieces of the light bulb, the disco light. This is rock and roll right here, ladies and gentlemen. Just a cool ass rug with all kind of broken glass marijuana seeds. What? That's my wheel? Yeah. Did you put air in it? No. Oh. It's dead. Dead, dead, dead ski. It's also an opportunity to, like, really be, like, literary to a chick, you know? Like, here I can actually, like, you're going to read my writing, you know? And it's personal and it's just for you, you know? You like the chair? It looks nice, though, but it's going to smell soon, I guess. Because if we, like, put the box to the fresh bits here, it's, 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 yeah. How many hipsters does it take to make a chalk advertisement <laughs> for their radio drama? <laughs> Three. Three, two to draw it, one to film it for his reality show. Tonight, we have not one, not two, but three live radio plays to perform for you. Okay, so we hosted a number of uh, events at the house this summer, one of which was this presentation of radio dramas. It was interesting, these dudes all wore costumes. Even though it was a radio drama, one dude dressed in like S and M bondage gear. Our very, very first radio drama this evening is Tales of the Halloween Team: Terror in Toyland. They remind me a lot of the dudes that I was friends with, like in middle school. When I was in middle school, like I, all my friends were sort of like the Simpsons comedy writers room of like the middle school. We were probably like the smartest kids, I guess, on the fucking. Asperger's spectrum, we, we registered pretty high, I guess. And, uh, you know, like, we were mathematically inclined. And for some reason, you know, like, the people who memorize, like, Monty Python routines, it's like a weird form of autism. You know, like, we were the, maybe the I writers? We're the nerds. We're the fucking nerds. <laughs> and not, like, the cool nerds, either. Not, like, the art nerds. Like, the actual nerds. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hi-ho, dear friends, and what hey! This is none other than Mr. X, coming at you from a live studio audience in New York City with another strange and true tale of the Halloween team. So, like, in middle school at lunch, that was, like, comedy time. Like, every day at lunch, that was, like, the Tonight Show. I would come with, like, 15 minutes of material. I don't know what it was, but I just got uncomfortable being friends with these guys. You know, like, I was clearly, like, the alpha male. I had, like, these little disciples and shit. I couldn't develop with them or something, or I didn't want to be associated. It was girls. It was girls is what it came down to. There was just, there was no way any girls were going to hang out with these guys. Take out was pretty much a bust before it even started. Only recently have I begun to just, like, kind of re-embrace my roots as a comedy nerd. Getting louder, actually. You know, like, closer? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! The one guy, Steel. His name is fucking Steel, if you can believe that. He worked on Halo. I don't even think he was, like, a brainiac. You know, he was, like, in marketing or something for the original Halo. Really great guy. Really, really nice guy. Came and supported the house a lot, and uh, he brought this wonderful radio drama into our lives. The toys are coming alive. <laughs> because... And here, like, that's always something... So many details. And the house is so isolated and, like, sealed off now. You know what I mean? Like... Like, I've been in the house, I think, all day. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, me too. I, yeah, me too. You know, and...